Okay, so let's start with the Align Components Shelf Tool. So I'll turn the Reference Plane off for this. And I'll add a grid in here so we can snap to that. And a box. Go into the box. I'll select that. And in the Uniform Scale, this parameter, I'll scale that down. Press S, select that. Press E to scale it. In. Okay, so we have kind of a pyramid shape. Go back to the object level. So we have this box now, and we want to snap that to this grid, which is kind of on this, you know, rotator like this. Okay, so first, what we have to do is we have to select the object that we want to align, you know, to something else. So I want to align the box, so I'll select that. And then I can click the Align Components tool. So in the Modify tab, we'll click on that. And then we have Align Components right here. So left click on that. And then we have to click on the Source Component as it says. So basically the polygon that you want to use for the snapping. So in this case, we want this base of this pyramid shape kind of to snap onto this plane, right? So click on that. Now this is a quick method. So in other words, you don't have to press enter each time following your selection. Once you've clicked, it will capture that. So if I click again over here, it will now align those objects. Okay, so I'll control Z to undo. I have my pyramid shape here selected, align components. Maybe I want to snap it the other way around. So I'll select this, simply left click on that. And then left click over here and that will now snap it that way okay Control z that is a quick way of snapping components at the object level of course you can snap it you know whichever way you want and then you have these tools you can press y to go be between your tools and so on So I'll delete this original grid object, dive into this box shape that we created earlier, and press tab and type grid, and I'll drop that down. I'll just move that thing out of the way, maybe rotate it, you know. So we have that shape to snap to now. And what we want to do is we want to see, you know, all of this geometry. So I'll select these two nodes, tab, type merge, so we can see our little pyramid over here. Overscale this thing here, but that's fine. And we want to select the geometry that we want to snap first. Now you can also have these things display and be selectable using the selectable flag or the selectable template flag and that's the second one so you can press and hold control and left click right so if you click on it for example it will only outline that thing but if you press and hold control and left click on it it becomes selectable and it will show up just like this but in this example we are using the merge node okay so I'll come in here and press S and double click on this geometry because I want to have that, you know, be selected. Then I'll click on the align components. Then I'll click on this bottom polygon again, right here. And then where I want to align, which is on this plane. So I'll click over here and you'll see that will align. So I'll control undo. Okay, so I'll try that again. So this time I'll click on Align Components. And then it asks us to select Geometry to Align and press Enter to complete. So in this case, you know, I'll double click on that and press Enter. Then it asks me to select Source Component. So I'll click on the stop one this time. And then it asks me to select Destination. Just left click and you'll see it snaps like that. 
and it does this by using this transform node okay that you see gets dropped down in my network view so it uses that to to move the component over here and so you can see it stores the translate information and rotate information and stuff in here okay so that is a look at the align components tool